I'm very happy that we all gathered here to mark a very special ceremony uh, in our Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine. That is the course completion ceremony of our first student in the immunology specialization of the BSc in Human Biology. So without further ado, I'd like to invite to our Head of Department, Prof. Chandam Jeevandara, to welcome the gathering. Over to you, sir. Today is a momentous day as we gather here to celebrate two significant milestones. Firstly, we already witnessed the grand opening of the Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine, established with the generous funding from the leading university project of SKKU. Additionally, we are delighted to celebrate the course completion ceremony of the newly established Bachelor of Science program in Human Biology with Immunology Specialization. Today's occasion is a testament to the dedication and hard work of our faculty, staff and the students who have tirelessly contributed to the establishment of this department. The vision behind this initiative is to address the pressing healthcare needs of our society and to advance the field of immunology through cutting-edge research, education and patient care. We are honoured to have the esteemed presence of Her Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Korea, Myun Lee, who has been a strong advocate for international collaborations in education and research. Your support and presence here today further strengthen the bond between our two nations and pave the way for future collaborations in the field of immunology. We are grateful for the generous funding provided by the leading university project of SKKU which has made the establishment of this department possible. We are also privileged to have Professor Ji Hoon Kang, a distinguished scholar and a visionary reader with us today. Your invaluable guidance and expertise have been instrumental in shaping the department and its curriculum. We are grateful for your unwavering support and commitment for fostering the excellence in education and research. I welcome you to the ceremony. Furthermore, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to Professor Kim Tae-jin and Professor Anjin An, whose expertise and dedication have been pivotal in successful establishment of the BSc program in Human Biology with Immunology Specialization. Thank you, sir, for gracing the occasion. Your efforts have laid the foundation of nurturing the future generation of immunologists who will contribute to advancement in healthcare and research. I'm honored to welcome our Vice, Vice Chancellor, Professor Padmur Almanagi, who is always a strong advocate of our work, and the present Dean, Professor Manori Gamage, who is a pillar of strength for our work, and the former Deans, Professor Surangi Savardana and Professor Alokapatina, who is not here today to this important milestone of the department. The Department of Immunology is committed to providing stimulating academic environment, which you have witnessed today, fostering inter interdisciplinary collaborations and promoting research that addresses the healthcare challenges of our time. Through this department, we aim to train and produce skilled graduates who will make significant contribution to the field of immunology, both nationally and internationally. Today's completion ceremony of the BSc program in Human Biology with Immunology Specialization is a testament to the hard work and dedication of our student Uvini. We are proud to have your accomplishment and confident that you will go on to make valuable contributions in the field of immunology and beyond. Once again, I extend my warmest welcome to His Excellency, the Ambassador of the Republic of Korea, Professor Ji Hoon, Professor Kim and Professor An, and all distinguished guests who gathered here and I welcome all of you for this important milestone stone of our department. And thank you for gracing the occasion with your esteemed presence. Let us come together to celebrate the inauguration of the Department of Immunology and completion of the BAC program and to embrace a future filled with limitless possibilities. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Jeevandar, for those kind words. And next, I would like to invite uh, the project leader for LUPEC, Professor Jehun Kang, to come and give us a few words. Good afternoon. It's, it's indeed my great pleasure and honor to participate in this memorable ceremony today. First and foremost, Ms. Uvini, I congratulate you on your successful completion of the, of the immunology specialization. 
Please take pride in your achievement and wholeheartedly congratulate yourself as well because you were brave enough to choose the untrodden way, the very first immunization specialization program in Sri Lanka. Just as you have done a brave and excellent job so far, I firmly believe you will be equally great in the future. Please contribute to UFJ University and your country and your nation with your unique achievement. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my deepest con congratulations to our colleagues in UFJ. From the year of 2020, UFJ and SKKU have joined hands to establish the first undergrad and graduate degrees in immunology and molecular medicine in Sri Lanka. We have worked together to develop the academic curriculum and department manual, lab manual, and recruit renowned professors and to furnish the classroom and laboratories with appropriate and cutting edge equipment. Dear all, I sincerely respect your continued devotion and contribution to today's success. Our continued partnership will enable more and more students with potential to blossom in the field of immunology and molecular medicine and ultimately bring the betterment of health of people in Sri Lanka. Last but not least, I thank the government of Sri Lanka and Republic of Korea. Had it not been the guidance and the support from MOE of Sri Lanka, none of our achievements today could have been realized in this land of Sri Lanka. Likewise, without the leading university project for international cooperation project, we call it LUPIC project, sponsored by MOE Korea, the partnership between UFJ and FKKU could not have been made. FKKU will continue to cement the friendship established between two countries. I would like to close my congratulatory remarks by applauding all the dedication of the colleagues in both USJ and FKKU who have worked hard together to make the course completion ceremony of first intake immunology specialization possible. Thank you. Thank you for your very kind words and for your constant support towards this uh, ongoing partnership. So to mark this momentous occasion, I would like to now uh, invite Her Excellency uh, Mion Lee, Ambassador of the Republic of Korea, to address this gathering. Over to you, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very delighted to attend the opening ceremony of the Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine and course completion ceremony of the first batch intake in immunology specialization at the University of Sri Jayawardenepura. I know that my um, uh, previous ambassador uh, has attended the launching, launching ceremony last year and uh, within one year I'm very happy that uh, I could come back again uh, for the opening ceremony on behalf of our previous ambassador. So my heartfelt congratulations to the faculty members and students who will study and research in this uh, facility. As a long-standing friend of Sri Lanka, Korea has been working on various development projects in the fields of health and education. Establishing a Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine is especially meaningful in a sense that it combines both sectors, contributing to health sector by providing more opportunities for higher education in medical science. The COVID pandemic has raised sharp awareness of the importance of public health and immunity. Thus, 
the support from Gangbuk Samsung Hospital and Songgyungwan University under the ODA program of the Ministry of Education of the Republic of Korea is timely and beneficial. I would like to express my gratitude to the officials from Gangbuk Samsung Hospital and Songgyungwan University who have worked on developing academic curriculum and provided various programs for capacity building for faculty and proper equipment for study. Also, it is my great honor to visit the University of Surrey, Jayawardenepura, one of the leading universities in Sri Lanka with a long history. I heard dating back uh, 150 years. I would like to express my um, sincere gratitude for the active cooperation of the University of Sri Jayapurita, which leads academic research, innovation, and international cooperation in Sri Lanka. Please continue to support the master's and bachelor's program in immunology under the Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine so that it can become an educational field for talented students. As Aristotle said, the roots of education is bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Education is all about laying the foundation for a country's development in the long run. I hope that the students who completed this course will contribute to the development of health sector based on knowledge and expertise learned through this program. Take pride in yourself and work hard for the benefit of health and welfare of Sri Lankan people. Once again, I would like to thank and congratulate all dignitaries who are here today and hope that joint efforts of SKKU and Gangbuk Samsung Hospital would facilitate transfer of Korea's advanced knowledge and technology in immunology and contribute to brighter future of Sri Lanka at the University of Sri Jayawardenepura. Stuti, thank you very much. Today is the very special day for the University of Sri Jayawardenepura. As a result of your university collaboration, so then we are happy to, to start a department and then, so then now we have a good progress. So I want to thank the present uh, Dean, Faculty of Medical Sciences, Professor Manori, all the time. So they help us to develop uh, the Faculty of Medical Sciences to take the university to the next level. So that is our aim. The Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine was established in July 2020 as the 17th Department of the Faculty of Medical Sciences. So at the time, so then the, this new department uh, didn't have any sp physical space to, I mean, the, commence their work. And later on, the medical faculty allowed them to uh, give some space to develop their own department. So therefore, then uh, the few minutes ago, so we declared open the Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine. So this, the story behind this department is very important. So I think you remember Republic of Korea under the leading university project international cooperation funded by the Ministry of Education granted money to establish this department. So that is very important. Therefore, I would like to thank again the country as well as the ambassador. So your support is now fruitful. So then now establish the department and the first student from human biology, specialization immunology, the successfully completed program and she graduated. So therefore, uh, so the objective is now we already completed at the beginning. So that's why so we, we are uh, gathered here. So this uh, department uh, in future, so my objective is to include immunology and molecular biology. So that is very important. So the 2025, so we want to include the molecular biology part as well. So that is very important because we have good scientists to teach molecular biology in addition to the immunology. The Department of Immunology and Molecular Medicine so in 2024 budget 
government uh, upgraded this department national institute of allergy and immunology so that is very important and the timely needed the institute this is the first institute in the south asian region so the professor jeevandara and professor neelika malavige worked hard to uh, take this i mean the upgrade this department to the the institution level so i am i also quite happy because i also involved in this uh, path and uh, now we are constructing the building and we hope uh, most probably 2025 we want to uh, we want to uh, complete the the building and we hope to take our uh, first intake to this uh, institute uh, 2025 I think academic members of the department is now working hard to prepare all the uh, materials uh, for undergraduate program. As the vice chancellor and the researcher, I believe so we need more research regarding this allergy and immunology. It is quite, I mean, uh, it is not well established in the country as a research institute. So therefore, University of Sri Jayawardena Pula will become the the first. university uh, for this type of i mean the research